Hello fellow Star Citizens, you know that you can customize your 300 series origin ship. If you had pledged for a ship, head on to your hangar, look for the ship and the customize button. Click on it and you'll be soon brought to this page. As far as I'm aware, you can only do this for the origin 300 series ships for now. And this option is only available for ships that have been pledged with real money and not bought in game. The first option you see is that to customize your hull and you have a number of options uh, with regards to the paint schemes. You can choose between the standard, premium and metallic paints. Personally, I have a preference for metallic paints. And for something like the 325 which is an interceptor, I went for a very dark tone to convey a more menacing look. Next are the cockpit customization options. Just like the paints, there are actually two groups of options you can choose from, standard and premium. Once again, click on these options just to see how they will look like. And in line with my choice of external paint, I went for a dark carbon fiber feel. You can also change the yoke. Of course, you know, being a 300 ship, I went for the sports version. And I'd also upgraded my seats from the standard to the sports version as well, similarly. All of you car enthusiasts will notice the Vicaro vibe. The seats have two color options, a white and a brown leather version, which I eventually went for. Interestingly, CIG also allows you to change the bedding of, your, of the bed, or uh, rather the bed sheets on your ship. I didn't really care too much about this option, but I guess it's nice that it's there. What's interesting here is that CIG offers you a number of packages for your components and weapons. And uh, these range from uh, what they call classic uh, to a number of other options. Well, you can read the description. Uh, do note that these options are unique to each type of the 300 series. Uh, as you may know, there is the base 300, the 315P Explorer variant, the 325A Light Fighter or Interdiction variant, which you see here right now, and a special racing 350R variant. So naturally, the role of the ship will affect the component packages that are available to you. Because I thought that this would be a light fighter interceptor, I went for the laser cannon variant. Uh, in my opinion, while repeaters are actually a lot more forgiving for bad pilots than myself, because smaller size weapons do a lot less damage, I'm willing to trade a lower rate of fire for superior damage. What's most interesting to me is that the Origin 300 series has options to add decorations that are not available in any other way in game. So you can choose a coffee machine, food makers, sound systems, additional clocks, mirrors. I went for it all. Do note that each of these options costs money and it has added $46 to the price of the ship, which I already pledged for. This is on top of the $70 that I already paid to pledge for this ship. I know some of you may think that spending more than half of the price of the ship for decorative top-ups um, is not very wise. I certainly don't disagree, uh, but uh, I'm doing it because I can. Anyway, uh, here's a summary of the changes uh, that you are going to have to pay for. Click on Add to Cut, then you'll be brought straight to your pledge store uh, payment portal. Just make payment and off you go. So how do all these changes look like in-game? Well, take a look. So I've spawned the 325 in the hangar in uh, what I believe will be Port Trester. And uh, here she is in its new uh, black carbon fiber-ish kind of paint. And the lighting engine that CIJ uses does highlight the curves that the uh, Origin 300 has. 
and these curves are accentuated even more with a darker paint. I can't wait for ray tracing to be introduced in Star Citizen. It's not urgent, get the bugs fixed, but it's a nice to have. So here we go. You see the uh, brown leather sport seat that I have uh, upgraded to. The yoke is there, sport steering yoke. The uh, bed sheets, the clock, the picture frame. Of course, the wine glasses are standard, but look, I've got new decorations. New appliances that helps make my journey in the verse a lot more pleasant. Here we have a food processor. I'm not sure whether it does anything aside from whir and buzz, uh, but uh, it's a nice touch. I'm just wondering sometime in the future if food that has been cooked will add more nutrition per volume than say uh, maybe a raw fruit that you pick up from an outpost. But anyway, one step at a time. I have the uh, sound system purchased as well, but somehow it wasn't working. There doesn't seem to be any change in the music background, despite turning it on. But the most interesting item I have here is the coffee machine. Excuse me, it's my first time, but hey, it works. The only other coffee machine that I know that works is the one in the haps that you spawn into over at Hurston. Or Law View, to be more precise. Nice steam effect. And you know what? You can actually drink the coffee. Although I must say that the coffee looks really light. I like my coffee dark and full bodied and that usually makes them quite dark in colour. But anyway, it's just a game. Glad that it's uh, present. Hope to see more of these uh, functioning machines over in Stanton soon. So I was struggling to put the mark back in the machine, only to discover that there's actually an option to actually place the mark into the machine if you just click on the uh, dispensing area or the dispensing plate. As you shall see here. So yes, here's the coffee machine, which I must say is the most interesting decorative upgrade that I made to the ship. So let's take the 325A out for speed. Uh, do note that things like weapons and components, you really didn't have to buy the package from CIG. You can actually get them upgraded in-game using AUAC. Here's another external view with the ship powered up. I love the stealth look that the 325 has. Anyway, uh, this is me. I've taken on a VLRT and I'm now heading to it. I'm just uh, running a couple of external views for you to enjoy the newly upgraded ship and its unique paint. I'm sure everyone would agree that despite all the bugs, Star Citizen is a very pretty game. Just uh, try not landing gears, just to show how it looks like. Just a bit of trivia, the 300 series has the fastest deploying and retracting landing gears in the game. So I'm approaching my bounty. One size 4 weapon in the nose and two size 3 in the wings sure make short work of small ships like this adventure here.
Alright, that was easy, but uh, this is a VLRT. I'm sure the 300 or the 325 in particular will have no problems handling uh, MRT or even a HRT. So this is it. Um, I'm not going to give a review of the 325. Many other YouTubers have done that. But I just wanted to share about the customization options that you can have with this ship as well as this other sister 300 series ships. It's a bit of a fast landing, landing. but she handles well enough for this. Landing complete. This is how to customize your 300 series ship and what the customizations do. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe. In the meantime, this is Starus signing out. Have a great one guys.